We're in the Los Angeles studio, but the action is down there where the turf meets the surf. We all watched California Chrome mm -hmm. work on the grass in anticipation of his start in the Grade 1 Hollywood Derby. Now trainer Art Sherman has stepped to the podium to conduct his post-workout press conference. We take you there now. Wow. You don't know that I was uh, riding Joe's mother's horse, a filly called Chapati. That's going back how many years, you think? Well, it's more than a couple years. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I was satisfied with the work. Of course, he was pricking his ears around there. Victor says that he didn't know whether he was going to work or gallop. You know, he's, he's never been on the grass before. And, you know, horses take a liking to it. But he said he felt smooth underneath him, and that was my main concern. I just think that, you know, when you have a horse that's never been on the grass, and I'm going to try and, and, and give him an open gallop maybe on Thursday down the lane, just to just for my own benefit to make sure he, he likes the grass like I think he will. You know, and that'll be his second time on the course. That'll, that'll make a big difference. Yes, he's going to train here all week. Art is the plan to run in the Hollywood Derby. I'm looking forward to that race right now. You know, I don't know how tough it's going to be. I know a lot of the trainers are waiting for me to make a decision. For a couple of them asked me what direction I'm going in, but you know, the horse come out of there, he never even took a drink of water. Of course, at 52, he probably thought he was galloping anyhow. But uh, he's he's one of them horses, you know that. It's getting close for horse of the year. And, you know, if he could win a race like this, it would sure help him, I think. You know, I don't think I'm going to put blinkers on him. Because when I put blinkers on him, he gets stirred up and he gets ready. You know, I just want to, my main concern is just the feeling of his stride on the grass. You know, that. You know, he's coming off a mile and a quarter race in the Breeders' Cup and going a mile and an eighth on the grass. If he's not fit now, he'll never be. And he came out of the race so strong, you know, I'm, that's why I'm running him back. And uh, he's one of them kind of horses, you know. I, I even said to myself, I said, I wish I had about 10 days before the Breeders' Cup to get one more huge work into him. I, I, there's no doubt in my mind he would have won that race. When will you make your decision? After Thursday? Well, no, I'm going to enter him on Wednesday, you know, and uh, of course, you know, there's two races you can go in, you know, it's <clears throat> so we'll see what, how that, you know, how I can adjust to that. Which one do you want to see? I'd love to run on the grass, you know, it gives me another dimension. Are you kidding? You, you go to England, wants me to come there, and being fun to see the Queen, meet her. <laughs> I, my jock's already close friends with her now, so I know I, I have that. But <laughs> he thought he went good. I, he said the only thing is that he knew he was going slow, but you got to realize he was around, you know, about six feet from the outside fence, so he really didn't know. He usually likes to cut down there near the rail and get ready to roll, but he was out there. He didn't even know he was ready to work or not, you know, so. <clears throat> I'll, I'll have him ready for this race. The horse looked like he was almost nonchalant. Oh, that's him. He just pricked his ears. You put blinkers on him and you get him a little stirred up and come away from the pole running, he's, he's a way different horse. Kind of push button. Art, if he wins this, you think you can make a case for more senior? God, I hope so. You know what I mean? I know it's going to be close. You know, he, that would give me four graded stakes this year. And there hasn't been any horse have four graded stakes. They've won three like I have. But that would be the fourth one. And I, you know, I, I think that he deserves, you know, maybe I'm being a little biased about it. But, you know, we've been all over the country. We tried everybody. and. <clears throat> of course, you're going to always have that controversy of the Breeders' Cup this year, which was a little shaky. But hey, listen, we all go through that. If you've been in the game long enough, you know. Folks out there that have a horse stance, what's so special about this horse? 
Well, he is a people's horse, you know. He, he has a demeanor about him that's unbelievable, you know. He, <clears throat> people are taking photographs of him right now, walking around, cooling out, and nothing bothers him, you know. He, he, he knows that he's a star. I really, I always called him a rock star, and I really think he is. Well, I told, I told Joe, I said, you could have sold mutual tickets out here this morning. There's enough people was out there, you know. It was a big crowd for a workout, I, you know. I've been around a long time, but I haven't seen that. I know Cigar had a big following, you know. It's <clears throat> For those that don't know, where's he been coming up to this point, and where would you like to see him in the future? Well, in the future, you know, there's <clears throat> San Anita. I'll probably run him once over there before. The owners want to go to Dubai for $10 million, and, you know, that's in the later, latter part of March, so I'm just kind of... You know, a lot of things can happen in this game, so I, I like to just plan on one race at a time. And if it happens to be that I wind up in Dubai, that'd be great, you know. Or how has he changed from the beginning of the year, like say when he won the Derby to now? Well, I looked at the race, you know, I have pictures of the graduation when he won here as a two-year-old, and I they don't even look like the same horse. You know, he's got muscular and he, He's put on weight, and just just a different horse. He's so much more matured now, and and I really think as a four-year-old you'll see a way different horse. You know, I I just always wanted to keep him racing, and I was glad that we didn't sell him. The Japanese were trying to buy this horse really big time, you know, and <clears throat> so I'm glad we got another year with him. I'm, I'm really really happy about that. <clears throat>